In this video, I will provide you with a easier way to locate the plumbing drain pipe holes. This might even be able to be used for your vent pipes, anything that's going to be at an angle. And for the most part, if your joists are spaced equally, 16 inches on center, for example, then you could calculate the distance for each floor joist that the line would need to raise. So for example, if I needed to raise each one 3 eighths of an inch, then I would simply start by adding 3 eighths of an inch here, 3 quarters of an inch here, and then an inch and an eighth here. And again, you could do this if the joists are equally spaced or 16 inches on center, for example. However, in our example, I'm going to go ahead and move the joist around and make it a little more difficult to locate the center of the holes that would need to be drilled through each joist to provide you with a quarter of an inch per foot slope or whatever slope you desire to have in your plumbing drain or vent pipes. And to do this, we're simply going to start by creating a center line for the pipe. So you would need to locate the center of the fitting here and then transfer that measurement to another joist that might extend a little further than you need to. Then we will use a straight edge or our chalk box to snap a straight line to connect the two points together. And then we're going to use a framing square or some type of a square or even a level to create a plumb line or a square line off of the joist and make sure that the line extends far enough so that you won't need to draw your line again when you are calculating the location of the center of the pipe. And to find the center of the pipe, usually the pipe fittings have little lines on the side. And you can usually measure from those lines that could be used to calculate the center location in both directions for that particular fitting. Because we are going to need the center of the pipe fitting. Otherwise, the holes for the pipe could be a little off center. And that's going to create an assembly problem when you go to put everything together. Now, I'm going to provide you with two different methods to do this. And of course, the first method might not be necessary, but it's going to give you a better idea of what I'm doing. And we're going to start by attaching a piece of scrap wood to the bottom of the floor joist. This board right here. The width of this board right here should be the same as the measurement between the front of the fitting and the front or face of the wall framing. Same distance as the block thickness because this is where the slope of the pipe is going to be starting from. And keep in mind that this method will be reversed if the pipe drain is going in the opposite direction. For example, this pipe is going to be draining towards this drain pipe and therefore sloping towards this pipe. However, if it's going to be sloping away from the pipe and this will be the high point and the low point will be at the other end, then we're simply going to reverse the process I'm providing you with in this example. Now I went ahead and drew a center line here and cut the block at the depth I needed for the slope to work out. And I'll go over that here in a little bit. So again, we can see where the face of this block, this side right here, lines up with the face or the edge of this pipe fitting. And yours might be different. It might be longer or it might be shorter, depending upon where that fitting is going to be located. Now I'm coming down an inch and three quarters. And the reason for that is because I'm going to be going back seven feet. And if I wanted a quarter of an inch drop in a seven foot horizontal measurement, I'm going to multiply a quarter of an inch by seven. And that's going to provide me with an inch and three quarter or 1.75 inch drop. So I'm going to be connecting a string to this point here on this side and to this point here on this side. And the screws should look something like this. You're not going to screw it in all the way on either side. And the string will need to connect at the top of the screw or nail. You can't have it connecting down here or down here unless you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And in our next example, I'm just simply going to use a block of wood. And this block of wood here will represent the depth of what I need at this end of the line. So you don't have to use seven foot. If you're going to use a four foot piece of lumber for a quarter inch slope, 
then you would simply use a one inch thick board. You're only going to be dropping an inch. And I do have other videos on how to calculate the slope for your drain line. So in this example here, I'm just kind of giving you an idea of what we need to measure and what we're going to do with those measurements. I need to measure from the bottom of this board to the center of the fitting. And if this block is level, which it should be, you should be able to measure from the little tab or the mark that represents the center of the fitting on the outside of the fitting. So I could just simply measure from the tab here straight down or measure from the top or the bottom and then calculate the center. And in our example here, this just so happens to be exactly five inches. And no, I did not plan that, but it does work out every once in a while. And you can see here where I'm just simply going to measure from our string or our straight line and then go up five inches not going to be that difficult and there's no complicated math here we're just simply going to come off of our straight line with the same measurement to find the center of the hole that needs to be drilled in our joist to provide us with the slope we need for our plumbing pipe so again the string represents the slope along with the same equal measurements from that string will provide us with the center of the pipe location and hopefully by now you're starting to wrap your mind around what's going on. And I can go ahead and show you how a plumber might do it. And that would be to get the location of this measurement here and this measurement here. The measurement from the bottom of the joist to the center of the pipe fitting. And then transfer that measurement to a piece of lumber. And in this example here, I'm going to transfer that measurement to the rim joist in hopes of making more sense out of what I'm trying to explain. So again, we're going to take the center measurement here off of the face of the fitting and transfer that to another piece of lumber. And then we're going to create our quarter inch slope along with laying out all of our floor joist and then using the measurements on this board here to locate the center of the holes that need to be drilled in each joist. So let's go ahead and go out seven feet like we did before. And then we're going to measure from the bottom of the joist to this line here. That is also the center location of our plumbing fitting. And then we're going to transfer that measurement over to here and then raise it an inch and three quarters to provide us with a quarter of an inch per foot slope. So let's go ahead and take a look at it from the side here seven feet. Then we're going to square down or plumb down so that we can create our slope for the plumbing pipe. So over here we have two and 13 sixteenths and we're going to transfer that measurement to the other side and then add our inch and three quarters. Then we're going to draw a straight line or snap a line between these two points here to provide us with the slope we need. After that, we're going to transfer the measurements for the joist. And you'll be able to do that by measuring off of the face of the wall framing or off of the face of the plumbing fitting. Just make sure that all of your measurements are on the same side, if possible, even though it won't make a difference with this method. I could actually draw a line from here down or from here down. I'm still going to be in the same general path that we need for our slope. And again, you don't need to lay it out on the rim joist. You can lay it out on a piece of plywood or a straight piece of lumber. Or you could even lay it out on the building foundation. And each measurement that we need is going to be right here. We're going to measure from the bottom of the joist to the center of the plumbing pipe fitting hole we're going to drill through the floor joist. So not too difficult over here. We have four and five sixteenths from the bottom of the joist to the center of the hole we're going to drill. And we're just simply going to transfer that measurement over to here so that we can create a nice line of slope without using any complicated math. And if one or all of these makes sense, then I did my job and make sure that you let us know by hitting the thumbs up button. If not, feel free to leave any questions you have in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.